Uh, so, right, my name's Fryer. I am I'm a competitive role player, and I'm going to be here to talk about um, damage on rollers, and yeah, the damage and the range, the consistency, the hitbox, and main power up usage. It sounds a bit complicated, but basically just the damage on the rollers and like to show how consistent it can be. So for spat roller, minimum damage is 40 and the range is from three and a bit. So like around here, it can hit and then it can one shot kill from around one, one and three quarters of a length. So around here. And then, I'm going to go to the horizontal now. And the horizontal can hit from a minimum of 35. And the distance can be from da, 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 two and a half lengths to here. It should be, there we go, like that much. And then, we're going to do, it can kill from one and a half lengths. So around there. And then... Okay, we're just going to talk about that for now. So, how far it can shoot from, how much damage it can do, and where it can kill is really important. So, I'm going to do Flingzer. Flingzer is pretty consistent at doing 40 from quite far away. So, it's 40 range from 4 and a bit lengths. So, around here, it can shoot, yeah, around that much. And then, uh, it can kill from two and a bit. Should do. There you go, like that. Okay, and then... Right, this bit. So, so it's a bit weird. Uh, no, let's just keep going. With the horizontal flick on the flings are. Um, it's got really weird RNG. But it can reach 30. See? 30. And um, it's quite hard to get. Like, I did it kind of easy, but it's really hard to get. Uh, but it can get lower than... It can get up to 30. Um, it has a funny hitbox. I'm going to show you my clip. Of why it's a silly doo-doo head majiggy. I think it's this one. Yeah. So it looks like is a there's a stupid hole in the middle of the flick. And I'm going to show you an example. It's basically like a tennis racket with a hole, kind of. So that should have hit. But I hit from I, I somehow hit from the side. Like the hitbox is just really weird. I can't remember what this is about. Oh no, I don't need to worry about that. Anyway, um. Uh, that was just showing how hard it is to get 30. Uh, so right. I think... Yeah, that's all I need to do. And then carbon. Right. So carbon. It's a bit... It's the, the damage is really weird. On vertical. From trying to use it from long range. Like, it should be 40. But if you... You can get lower. Should... Should be getting lower. Hang on, I can't, can't get it. <laughs> Please. My God, it's not letting me. It's got a really weird hitbox. No, okay, I can't show it like that. I need to show the clip. I've got a silly clip of it. Um. So this clip right here is um me with a main, I think, and a few subs. It's really hard to get. But what I'm trying to show is that you want to try and get 42.3. I didn't get it on this one, but as you see I didn't I did get 42.2. And you don't want to get that because if you throw a burst bomb direct, or it could be far and uh, near, it will still do it will still do about 60. You want to be really consistent to get um, 42.3. So 
So I showed here, I mean you do get it, but it's super rare, super rare. So see here, it's really weird, the angle. But like, I'm just showing you, it's a really weird way, it's got really weird RNG, like the edge of the carbon flick. Oi, oi, oi. Right, and then, and then, oh, I got shot a kill. I got shot a kill. So it kills from one and a half, or it should. There you go. Just lowering it down. I'll explain in a bit. And then, horizontal. So minimum damage on that is 25. I could show it like that, but it's really hard. Okay, it's not. And then, it can kill, yeah, and it's from one and three quarters length, which is quite important. And then it can kill from one length. It should. Okay, I'm not close enough. Right, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the last one, Dynamo. And we're going to be here with minimum damage 40. Uh, not that one. Flick. That's 40. It's quite long. Um, okay. Wait, really? I think I moved. Anyway. Um, and range is from f f f f f 4 and 3 quarters. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Around here. Yep. And then it can one shot from... Not there, it's not there, it's two and a half. So around here. There we go. Showed it. Now from four lamps, so one, two, three, four, it can consistently get fifty. Now that's important, because it can two shot. Now gonna go to the horizontal. That can do hang on. Not there. I think I'm doing it wrong. No. Come on, it's like around here, I swear. Do I have main Do I have main power up? No, I don't have main power up. No. 40. There you go, you stupid thing. Right. And it can get it can, it can get it from 3 and 3 quarters. 3 3 and yeah, 3 quarters. So 1 2 3 around here. Pretty hard to get though. Um, then it can one shot from two and a bit lamps. So here. Maybe a bit more really, because that was quite a lot. Okay, no, maybe not. Anyway, uh, from three and one quarter, it can consistently get 50 or over. Done. Well, that's one done. Right, so now we're going to talk about consistency and hitbox. So, splat. When it hits from two and a bit range, it can consistently get around 65 damage. Yeah, two and a bit. That's important because... Uh, you're definitely guaranteed the kill once you've got that flick and you can do that. And then we're going to go on to Flingzer again. Da, 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 da. Damage from one and a half lamps is reduced more than half when the arrow hitbox. Uh, is when missing the arrow hitbox. So I'll explain that a bit better. So this is one and a half lamps. This is meant to kill. Yeah. If you miss, it will do a lot less damage. And that's really important. Because people will be like, oh no, why didn't I get that kill? It's because you missed. And you're not hitting it right. Right. But you got to be... Oh yeah, you got to be careful with Flingzer. Because um, Flingzer, it has a really weird hitbox, like I said. Um, earlier, carbon. 
Now carbon is really weird. It's really weird um, a little bit as well. Because the horizontal from one and a half lengths, if you miss, it do it does it basically does that. It's really low damage. You don't want to do that. Um, significantly, the damage is. And missing will be minim yeah, minimum damage. 25 is minimum damage on the horizontal flick. Okay, and then... From one length, missing the hitbox is reduced to 63. So you can get... You can... You can kill if you throw a burst bomb, but that, I mean, I'm saying this because if you miss, that's how much damage it does, because it should kill. It should do 100 from one length. And then dynamo, it's just the same as well. I mean, not the, the horizontal flip carbon, like the minimum, it just goes to minimum damage instantly from this range for some reason. Uh... But when you try and kill with it, so that should kill, which it did. You know, do that, but miss the arrow hitbox. I don't know if you guys know that, the arrow hitbox. So that that's going to kill, or it should kill. I need to lower it. Yeah. As long as it hit the tip of the arrow, it should kill. But yeah, if you're not, it's going to do a lot less damage. And that's not what you, you, uh, that's not what you don't want. Or well, that's not what you want that's it <laughs> right so damage will be higher when the amp the the uh, when the roller um no when you aim it low so what i mean is i'm going to clear it up so it's a little bit clearer i'm going to show it with a spat roller i mean it doesn't really matter so no i clear that up again da -da 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 -da. So, when you do it from here, you see that the tip of it is hitting the top of it. So if I do that, I mean, yeah, it's going to kill. I'll do a bit further. 80. Yeah, if I lower it, it'll do more. I mean, I'm, I'm not really close enough still. 98. Kills. That's really important. Especially when you do it too high, it does massive fall off. Massive fall off. You don't want to be doing that. You can if you want to be sharking a plat, maybe. But it's, it's really... It's sort of risky. Um, you just got to get really close and get potential one-hit kills. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so vertical. Um, no one should. No one doesn't. I don't think anyone knows this. I mean, yeah, that was one of them. So if you don't hit low enough, it doesn't do enough. It doesn't do as much damage, which is really important. Ho ho uh, vertical. So going long. Uh, if you miss like that, it won't. It will do less damage, but it should do the same amount of damage. So 97. But if you do it low enough, it should be fine. So I didn't do it low enough. It should kill. There we go. But like if you're going down, if you're going left and up, it won't do as much damage. Definitely. Especially when you're lifting up. It's okay to miss a little bit. As long as you're hitting it low. It's really good. Um, or well it's a lot better to kill with. Uh... But yeah, aiming too high can reduce it so much. So I'm going to show you an example. If you're like too high and they're below you, and you lift it up too much, it will do more than the minimum damage. Really easy. Like, look at that. You don't want to be doing that. 35, that's the minimum for horizontal, but it can get a lot lower than that. Right, and then... When you're too close... And you do this, that can kill. Any roller, that can kill. And then... Even when you miss the arrow hitbox, it should kill. Roller bounce. I mean, I don't... I should be able to do it. It's basically when you miss completely and you get too close. 
Like your rollers in the air, basically. It does that kind of thing. Like that. But a lot worse, because they push you back. That's what roller bounce is. You basically gotta not stay so close that you're literally bumping into them. Because that's what it is, really. Not like that. Not like that. Like that. So you just gotta hit them with the arrow. Okay? And then. We wanna talk about armor. So, armor's really. Rollers are really weak against armor. But there is some ways where you can kill through armor. If you do good damage. Well, I mean, yeah, that's going to kill, obviously. But like, if you do some damage and they armor and you do good damage, it should kill through the armor. Um, but, I mean, I can't show it right now. I need to show it in, like, some point. It's really hard to, though, because um, it's got to be, like... If, if someone has... If that person had armor, like, they, they use armor, then they obviously won't do it in front of a roller. But if there was a teammate that, that was given armor, then it would kill them, more likely, probably. Right. Okay, done that one. Right, we're going to talk about main power-up. So, so far, none of that was all main power-up, by the way. Um, so, what it does is it increases damage. So, I'll show you an example. So, this should kill at one and three quarters when lowering it enough there we go right and if i give it a main or more or maybe a little bit less i'll just do a main two subs is minimum i'll explain that in a moment but anyway so if i i should do it here and it should kill see like you can't see the difference but there is a difference but like you can show you can like you uh, you can use a bit more range but it's just getting used to the hitbox really the roller um, but yeah the range is slightly increased in roller because it can do more damage at certain distances Right, so how much main power up would you need? So for Splat Roller, uh, I would say two, two subs or more um, because it can be quite uh, consistent already. Nothing really combines with it it's too much. Um, it's good to have main, I mean, yeah, I'm really... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so flings are. I do recommend. People do say two subs. But in my opinion. I think. I recommend more than a main. Because it's, it's really important to be consistent. With this flick. Because it does. Because you can kill from a further difference. More. Further distance. More consistent. And this hitbox needs and needs to do more damage. It needs to do a lot more damage. Because it just has a really bad hitbox sometimes. Right. And then... Oh, right. Carbon. Some people will probably disagree with me on this. But I'm going to show you my... Well, no, I can't show it with this. I'm going to have to show you my clip. I think it's... No, that's not it. Ooh. No, that's not it. This is it. So what I'm trying to show here... Ah. Oh. <laughs> what I'm trying to show here is... Um... This is a main and four subs, or two mains, I think. You, it could be. Uh, basically, anything lower than a main and four subs, I don't think it's good on Carbon Deco. 
And this is because when you're trying to get maximum range with carbon, it does less than 42.3. And you want to get higher than 42.3 because when someone has a sub of bomb defense, which is really, really good in competitive, um, I think this is the one where I've got a main and five subs. I mean, it does go down to 42.2, but that is really rare. It's super rare. This took me ages to do. But, I mean, it's sort of because I'm sort of flicking it high. But, I think some people in Japan, they do a main and two subs. That, that's good. You just got to get closer with it. A little bit closer. But when you're trying to get maximum range, I'm guarantee if you don't do fall off of this, it can do more. It can do just right. 42.3 and then a direct with the burst bomb. Because the bomb defense uh, reduces the damage from the burst bomb. Right. Then dynamo. Dynamo, main power up. Uh, one main and two subs. Uh, I I think I do have. I sometimes have a main and two subs. Uh, because I, I mean I wasn't really a fan of main power up on Dynamo. Pardon me back then. Um, but out of all the rollers, main power up is on Dynamo is the most important. Because you just have so much range that a lot of damage is, is so good. It's really good. Um, and it, it, you can see the difference. I guarantee you can see the difference in um, how much range it gives. Especially when trying to do combos. So like doing one flick and another flick. Well not combos, it's more like just, just two hits. Like So it used to, for the dynamo, it used to do... This is no main power up, it was. Um, it could consistently do 50 damage at, from 4 lamps. This is vertical. It's a slow one, but I recommend horizontal. I can easily do it. Easily. Well, the, yeah. I think it's, slight, it's slightly more. I mean, I'm not. I think I'm doing it too high. Okay, never mind. But it can do... Um, it can give it a bit more range. And then with the horizontal... Three and three quarters. So around here, I think. Oh no, I'm doing them range. I'm silly, I think. No. Three and one quarters. So one, two, three. Around here... It can do easily, easily 50. That's so good for Dynamo. And this is like almost the maximum range. And you can almost two shot. Right. And then... This is my... Gonna be... Most hitboxes can remove armor using bombs. But yeah, to deal mostly, yeah, back to armor. The best way to do damage against armor. Well, no, armor, first of all, um, it breaks. It breaks when you do more than 30. So literally every flick that you do on it will kill, apart from uh, the doing fall off or with the carbon doing the horizontal. Not the, ho yeah, the horizontal missing. It will do less than that. Um, also the burst bomb, if it misses, it's far away, does 25, that won't be enough to destroy the armor. Carbon is really good against um, armor, because it, um, anything more than 30, and it's quick, it's really quick, it destroys the, um, it gets rid of the armor quick. And you could just go and do loads of damage with the uh, carbon. Right, and then... Yeah, just throwing bombs. Throwing bombs, really important for uh, going against armor in a way. Because it does damage, and it can break through the armor. 
I literally did a clip the other day with a curling bomb, and it killed through the armor. Um, but like, yeah, the suction bomb and splat bomb, they do 180. Uh, I'll show you. Nope. <laughs> Come on, there we go. So, because you have 100 health, obviously, and then uh, the armor, it breaks. No, the maximum it can take, or it gives you, I meant, is 80. So, I mean, people will survive from it still because they have bomb defense. Most people with armor, or you should be having one sort of a bomb defense. Um, but yeah, just bombs, uh, splat bomb, suction bomb is really good for actually, like, potentially killing them, even though they have armor. And then splat, uh, burst bombs is quick, easy to break, as long as you hit them pretty close, at least. Um, but I mean, most, mostly you just gotta try and avoid it. You gotta kill them before they get it, or... Just do enough damage for when they get armoured, and then try and get close to do maximum damage. So, overall, I'd say um, it can rely on one-shots, and it can do good chip damage to potentially get kills from a good range. Um, it's just getting used to the, the hitbox, so... But like, yeah, it's a massive difference. There is a massive difference when lifting it too high. Like, I noticed it in... I don't know if you guys watch Dude, or I don't know if you know Dude. He showed me... He showed a roller video. And it made me really mad. It actually made me quite mad. And like, I saw it years ago, and I thought, oh no, that's fine. But I realised when he was doing it, he was lifting it too high. Too high. Like, that should kill. But if you lower it, it, sh it does kill. I think it's two and a half, actually. Yeah. Or a bit more. Two and three quarters. There we go. And if you lift it too high, it won't kill. It won't. So keeping it low, keeping it as middle as you can, will do the most damage. Uh, but yeah. And it can just do it just it just, ugh, it can just do really good chip damage and main power up just makes it more annoying to go against and I'd say a lot of main power up is good at beginner's level because it's just getting used to the um, muscle memory or the consistently because consistency of hitting at a certain range and getting used to it. Um, And yeah, just doing good damage with it. Just getting used to doing good damage. Like, yeah, main power up just gets... It gets worse pretty quick. Fairly quickly? Like, the most main power up you'd see is probably uh, two mains. And that's with Dynamo. Um, but mostly, the more the better, really. Uh, just get used to the hitbox. Because I feel like people lift it too much. And when you're lifting it too much, it does really bad damage. Really bad. Or it just doesn't hit. <laughs> you literally got to aim it right at them. That's what the game, that's what they've made the game to be a bit more like. You've got to aim, you've got to get the arrow to aim at the person. But it's a bit weird because they've made it so you've got to hit it low as well for some reason. Um, I think that's it. Yeah.